And welcome back to the q and A. I'm Adam Longo. This show is all about you. You've got questions and we make sure to give you an answer. So here are three more for you right now. Our first question comes from our Facebook page. Dan O'Brien wants to know what consumers can do about the recent string of hackers attacking customers at gas stations. All right. So for those of you who aren't aware, Visa sent out a security alert about hackers who have targeted gas stations that do not have a chip reader at their pumps. Apparently, hackers use the magnetic strips at stations to access your credit card information. So, Dan, here's how you can protect yourself. First, never use a debit card linked to your bank account. Always use a chip-enabled card. And if you can, sign up for fraud alerts from your bank and your credit card company. Question number two comes from DC Reddit user Frozen and Shut. Says they just moved into an apartment that shares a wall with a restaurant that turns into a nightclub. Oh boy, the noise is too much. And now they're wondering if there's anything they can do to get out of the lease. All right, this is a great question. So often there is a quiet enjoyment clause in leases. So you're gonna wanna double check yours. If it's in there, you might have grounds to break your lease. If not, try calling DC's Office of the Tenant Advocate. Now DC is a very friendly city toward tenants. Their service is free. The number is 202-719-6560. Finally, another Reddit user is asking if any bars have impeachment drink specials today. All right, if DC knows how to do one thing, it's still a great happy hour, right? So for those of you who want to take in an adult beverage or two or five on a historic day like this, head on over to Union Pub and Capitol Lounge for great impeachment day specials. And there you have it, three of your questions answered just like that. If you need something to find out, don't hesitate to send your questions our way. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Just use the hashtag, the Q&A, or email us at theqna at wusa9.com.